Hey YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul and welcome to another remake video. Today I'll be remaking Designer's track up, so let's get to it. Let's set our tempo to 72 beats per minute and uh, jump right into the first track, which is going to be our piano or the chord progression. Uh, it is a two bar chord progression that pretty much stays the same for the entire track. And I'm going to be using Logic Steinway Grand Piano. All right, let's go ahead and draw in that pattern. So here's the chord progression right here. It's gonna soften up those by lowering the velocity. All right, let's go ahead and just adjust this sound. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the delay a little bit. We're gonna pull up the ambience a lot. And the reverb as well. I'm gonna go ahead and soften up the attack by pulling it up here in our EXS24. I'm just gonna take this EQ and pull out some of our highs, just to kind of get it a little bit darker sounding. So there's our progression that's gonna be essentially looped for the entire record. Next, let's go ahead and bring in a pad. So I'm gonna create a new software instrument track. And this pad is just gonna complement this piano. And that we're gonna use a preset I put together in a tutorial a long time ago. Uh, it's the Axwell and Grosso pad. I know Axwell and Grosso doesn't go with designer, but uh, it will sound nice once it's blended. So I'm going to use the same chord progression here, except I'm going to take out these here. And we get something like this. I'll drop this one full octave. And since this is a designer tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and switch up my silver verb to a space designer, if you know what I mean. And uh, we're gonna bring this into a big plate preset. So that sound just complements the piano right there. Next, let's go ahead and bring in our drums. So let's create a new softer instrument track. And we're gonna go ahead and bring in Logic's EXS24 sampler instrument. And I'm gonna pull in a drum kit I put together for this tutorial, the up drum kit. Uh, let's just pull this up loud. Everybody wants their drums loud. And uh, let's start off with those hi-hats. The pattern is fairly simple.
No, nope, that's my snare. So that's pretty much the pattern right there, except there's a change up halfway through. It's right here. And then happens again over here. It essentially duplicates itself. So it is actually just one bar in length. All right, let's go ahead and duplicate that. Bring in our claps, which is another easy one to program. All right, let's go ahead and bring in our snares. So there's our snare pattern right there. Next, let's go ahead and bring in our kick. So I'm gonna duplicate this as well. And uh, let's draw in our kick. Switch this back to 16th notes. All right, so that's pretty much it for our drums. Next, let's go ahead and bring in our 808s. I'm gonna create a new software instrument track, and we're gonna bring in Logic's ES2 synthesizer. And of course, we're gonna be using that 808 preset we use in every single tutorial. Um, here it is right here. We'll get to adjusting the sound later, but let's just draw in the pattern for now. Now this pattern actually, it copies the bass line from the piano. So I'm just gonna bring that in. I'll drop this down one octave. All right, I'm gonna hit solo on the 808 right now. Now, if you're not wearing headphones, you're listening on stereo monitors, and you're just listening off of your iPhone, Android, or your laptop, you're probably not gonna hear this. So it's pretty much just like that, except there's a little gliding action happening. And I'm just gonna do that right now. So since this is on C, we're gonna pull it up to C. And since this is on D, we're gonna pull that up to D. All right, let's go ahead and pull in our ES2 uh, preset and start adjusting the sound. I'm gonna pull in some distortion. Pull up some drive. I'm gonna pull up the glide to about 11 o'clock to get some gliding. pull up the attack because I don't want it so clicky. I want it more to be of a undertone bass. I'm going to pull down my sustain. And my release as well. And that's just going to live under the kick. All right, so let's go ahead and bring in that Juicy J, yeah, ho, Vox element. I'm gonna bring it in here. And uh, it sounds something like this. Yeah, 
I'm just gonna go ahead and bring in some reverb on this. Uh, let's go to reverb space designer. And we'll also use that big plate. Next, I'm going to bring in some of those vocal chants, those haze. So let's go ahead and bring those in. Let's drag it in here from my screen. Lower the volume on this. So that's pretty much the track right there. I'm just gonna take my hi-hats here. I'm just gonna spread them out a little bit. I'm gonna to go to sample delay. And I'm gonna delay one channel to get a Haas effect. I don't wanna do this too much, just a little bit to spread it out. All right, next what we're gonna do is we're just gonna quickly arrange this track. Now this track has a lot of changes in the track itself. But I'm just going to give you guys a basics of what is in the track and then you can kind of build it out from there if you wanted to. So in the next two bars, what happens here is the pianos kick out at the beginning. So we're going to go ahead and mute those and I'm going to go ahead and mute this as well. And uh, something like this happens. You kind of get like a little drop here. So I'm going to take out that kick and I'll take out this 808 hit and I'm going to take out this glide here as well. Actually, maybe I'll leave in this pad right here. I'm just going to cut out just like that. And that's pretty much how you remake Designer's Track up in Logic Pro X. Now for your Logic users out there, I am going to go ahead and save this entire session for you guys. You can find it as a downloadable link in the description box below. Now I know I didn't do the full arrangement, but you could take this and build it out from there. Like I said, there's a lot of changes in the arrangement. And uh, if I were to sit here and find every single one, it'll take a long time. But this is the foundation to the track that you guys can use to kind of uh, put together a full version of this track. For your non-logic users out there, I also got your back. I'm going to put together a play pack you can find in the description box below as well. That includes all of the mini stems and samples that you've just heard in this remake. If you do have any questions on this, you can ask me in the comment section below. If you did like this video, remember to thumbs up and share it. And if you're new to I'm a Music Mogul, remember to hit that subscribe button for more good videos like this one. And I'll talk to you all soon. Later. Peace.